Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've kind of reached our um, maximum challenge problem for what we've been working on with heredity and pun and squares. So if you haven't seen the last five video questions of the day, you should go check them out because this concept really builds. But let's take a look at this question. It says a heterozygous solid red tulip is crossed with a homozygous recessive red and white striped tulip. Create a Punnett square to determine the genotypes of possible offspring A through D. If you notice, I kind of got it started for you with this Punnett square here. I put the parent organisms on the outside like I'm supposed to. So here's my heterozygous solid red tulip. What do I mean? Well, by solid red, I'm just talking about the way it looks. It looks solid red. Um, by heterozygous, I mean that even though it looks solid red, it actually has two different um, alleles, gene halves in its, in its uh, genetic code. Um, it carries genes for both solid red and the recessive gene, uh, red and white striped. See how the two letters, capital S and lowercase s, one's capital, low, one's lowercase, that means that these alleles code for different things. So yeah, the tulip itself is solid, but its genes, it has two different genes. Only one of its, uh, one half of its genes codes for being a solid red tulip. Okay. And then you can see I have my other parent organism over here. It's a homozygous recessive red and white striped tulip. Now what do I mean by homozygous? You're going to see the letters are both the same size here. They're both lowercase, little s, little s. That's what I mean by homozygous. That both halves of the gene, both alleles, code for the same thing. In this case, they both code for red and white striped. Now we're going to create a pun and square to determine the genotypes of possible offspring A through D. And this time we have a lot less help than before, so let's check it out. So um, this solid red tulip right here <clears throat> carries two genes, or two alleles, um, two different gene pairs. Um, so I'm sorry, two different gene halves, I misspoke. So it could pass either one on to its offspring. It could pass on the capital S, that stands for solid red, or it could pass on the lowercase, that stands for striped. You know, either one could happen, and so I'm going to have these two columns, one with each of the gene halves, the alleles here. <clears throat> now, the striped guy, he only has little s's, so he's either going to pass on the first little s or the second little s. That's the only possibility here. So now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take one uh, allele from each parent to try to see new genotypes. So, let's see, in this box, we would have a capital S, so capital S, and then a lowercase s from this parent, so lowercase s. In this box, we would have a lowercase s from this parent and a lowercase s from this parent. In this box, we would have a capital S from that parent and a lowercase s from that parent. And in this box, we would end up with a lowercase s and a lowercase s. So these are the genotypes of the possible a spring, offspring. So A could have this genotype, uh, big S, little s. Uh, B could, we said, was going to be two big S's, both for solid. This one would have a solid striped. And this one would have a striped striped and I just realized I made a mistake with B. I couldn't read my own handwriting. I hope you saw that. Sorry about that. Uh, with B I had two little s's. Ooh man, s is a hard letter to use. I knew this problem. I wrote this problem. I knew what the answer was and I still transcribed it wrong because s's, you know, little s's and big s's look so much alike. So those are my genotypes of my possible offspring A through D. Now, all right, this, these are the genotypes, the letters. This question did not ask me about the phenotypes, what these offspring would look like, you know, but you could just as easily have a question about that. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.